Hey guys, this is Josh, back after a long break, but hey, I got a job and nobody's been asking me any questions, so this is going to be a quick one. Uh, this is just a video on how to get uh, extract certain files from setup executables and MSIs. Let's say you have a setup and you don't want to run the setup, you just want to see what files are in it. And I got two types of setup here, the MSI is Flash. And the setup exe is from IMG Burn, some burning software. So if I wanted to see if I could see what was inside these setups, I would uh, basically use a free program called 7-Zip. It's a zip, zip software. And I would open it and navigate to the folder where they are. And this works really well for a lot of exes. So I would right click on the file in the view and go open inside. And that lets me see everything that this 7, um, not in this case 7 zip, but IMG burn is going to put down. See the executable there, the preview there, the readme text, everything it puts in temp, all the sounds it needs, all the icons it uses, all that stuff, which is very cool. Now MSIs don't work the exact same way. You can see a little bit in 7-zip as to what's inside an MSI. Like I'll show you. You can see stuff like that. Like you can see the cabs and other parts of what gets put down. But a method I like a little better is uh, what's known as the making an admin install point. Which basically involves opening up a command prompt. Navigating to the desktop or wherever folder you know that MSI is located. Type in MSI exec, which is Microsoft's program that launches its MSI installer. Space slash A. And then the MSI you want to launch. Slash A creates a network install point, which they call it a server image in this install. So I'm going to change it to go to my desktop and put it in a folder called flash on the desktop. And when you click install it doesn't actually install with the slash a. It just creates a, basically it unzips all the files that it would put down and creates another MSI that would use the files in that structure. So you can see everything that MSI puts down, which is not much. I mean, Flash is very small. Basically, is is all it's all that MSI does is run this little executable to install the Flash plugin. But the same thing holds true for more complex MSIs. I just didn't want to use one. I wanted to make this video kind of short. And another trick I used while I was in uh, the command prompt is uh, if you're in any folder, you can just keep it in tab. And it'll cycle through everything in that folder. Like that. Or I can just start typing the beginning of a file name. And hit tab. And it'll complete it for me. Which is very cool. Hope all you guys have been doing good. This is another tutorial by Josh. And if you got any questions, please uh, message me on YouTube. Or comment on this video. Anything that you'd like to see me do or try. And have a good night.